Hello! Welcome to another episode of One Star Food Reviews. We scour the internet looking for restaurants with an overall rating of 4 stars or higher and look at one star reviews to see why someone felt the need to leave such a bad review. Today we're looking at a one star review left by a customer with a great response from the restaurant manager. Stop by for breakfast with my wife and kids. You know how they say you can't screw up breakfast. Well, yes you can, and they did. Broccoli omelette was undercooked and the broccoli was frozen. Can you imagine using frozen broccoli? You can go a few miles to BUAs and buy a big bag of not frozen for a little over three bucks. Yet, these cheap us use frozen. It was tasteless. Not even ketchup could save this monstrosity. The home fries were bad, and the toast was barely toasted. The bacon omelet was awful too. Bacon was soggy, not even crispy. All of the other breakfasts stunk too. The male owner walks around with a sour puss and looks miserable. Smile, pal. You're in the service industry. And what is up with this place and the mountains of empty boxes everywhere? It's a restaurant, not a Costco. This place is a depressing, uninviting mess with boxes, mountains of them. Hi there. I'm sorry to hear about your experience. We are not a gourmet restaurant nor an organic kitchen or fine dining establishment. We are a family-run, small-town diner. We try our best to offer the highest quality products and ingredients, but due to the nature of our business, sometimes we fall short. Our menu is enormous, making it nearly impossible for every single item to be fresh out of the produce department. Believe it or not, this is very common amongst diner standards. Moreover, if fresh broccoli was something you highly valued, all you had to do was inquire beforehand, we would have told you the truth. Then you could have ordered something else instead. I promise you there are way better options on our menu to try. Our home fries are made in store, and although they are simple, most of our customers enjoy them this way. If someone wants to perk them up by adding peppers and onions, we will happily honor that upon request for no additional charge. As for the rest of your food complaints, I cannot vouch on any of them. We have a loyal and steady breakfast crowd for many years who love our breakfast fare. Most customers who dine at our restaurant either finish all their food or take the rest home. If this is not the case, we ask the customer if there was some sort of an issue with the food. We don't do this to prevent bad Yelp reviews. We do it because we actually care. You claim that everything you ate stunk and even used the word monstrosity. I would assume if this was the case, you'd stop eating after a bite or two, leading you to either A, call your server over to complain, then maybe we can fix the problem, or B, leave behind a table full of barely finished food, something that would catch our attention. My employees and myself do not recall either of these scenarios occurring. As for the owner, he's actually not always miserable. Believe it or not, he does smile more often than not. Unfortunately, running this type of business paired with a 90 plus hour work week can wear a person down. Sometimes smiling isn't that easy. I am sure though, if you offered him a smile, he would have smiled back. As for the mountains of boxes, you are right. They are not aesthetically appealing, but they are necessary. We do a tremendous amount of takeout during the week and those boxes play an important role. Due to limited space, we are left with no choice but to store them up front in the corner. However, there is a big wall full of beautiful pictures of the country of Greece hanging up directly across from the boxes. I wouldn't say the wall is some sort of masterpiece, but most would agree the pictures are pretty. I'm sorry to see you were so distracted by the boxes you failed to appreciate the beauty. Wow, Mike, drop on that one. Sometimes, well, usually, a lot of people really don't appreciate how much work it is to run a restaurant or diner and to deal with the public. When you have people leaving your business one-star reviews and publicly posting it because of some boxes, it's frustrating. Please reconsider your low reviews before you leave one, especially for these small mom and pop type restaurants. They are hardworking people that are just trying to feed their family. Overall, this diner has a 4.6 star rating with 162 reviews. 
so they must be doing something right. This was Evan's restaurant in Matawan, New Jersey. Take a look at some pictures of their food. Looks pretty good to me. Please reconsider your low reviews before you leave one, especially for these small mom and pop type restaurants. They are hardworking people that are just trying to feed their family. Help support Butler in the home's content, such as grocery store finds, by watching our commercial and consider buying our products. Thank you. Here at Butler in the Home, we don't see paper clips the same way the other paper clip people do. We see a world filled with different colors, shapes, and possibilities. You own a vet clinic? A shelter? Grooming business? Dog walking? Or anything in between? We got you covered with our Scotty, Dachshund, and Bone Clips. Coffee your thing? Here's our coffee mug clip. And some dollar signs to pay for your double mega super duper latte. Looking for something more exotic and mythical? Are you hashtag mermaid hair don't care? Well, we've got you covered with our mermaid clip. Sorry, I bet that sounded a little unicorny. Big report to do today? We got you covered with our letter paper clips. Crazy cat lady? Or aspire to be one? We got you covered with our cat paper clips. All about your ride? We got you covered with our car paper clip. Check us out at butlerinthehome.com.